Western Spain Television. Ours it is. What's up, people? Welcome on board to another edition of Lady Stock right here on Western Spring Television. It's such a, a honor to have you on board with us uh, this evening. Thank you so much for always making it a date with us. On Lady Stock, what we do is um, discuss everything female. We try to look at issues that are affecting the female folks and uh, bring it here to the studios. And uh, the ladies with me um, will dissect the issue and give their own views, their own opinions on whatever issue we discuss you know we usually have two segments the very first segment or three we can say three because the very first segment is where i have the ladies introduce themselves second well, it's uh, what's trended and um, the third is the topic of discuss for the day my name is evelyn ohiole and remember that you are 100 percent in charge of your life and happiness things might not be going the way you want it to be but always thank god for slow and steady growth. Ensure to connect with us on our social media handles all across boards on Facebook, Instagram, and X on Western Spring Television. And of course, you can watch uh, past episodes of this particular uh, show, this one, and also past episodes on our YouTube channel on Western Spring Television. All right, uh, let's go to the ladies. It's the second week in September, and um, like we said, it's going to be a September to remember. Mm -hmm. And we thank God that it started like that for us, especially with the ladies on board. So let me move over to an amazing person right here on the show. I think this is your first, this a uh, welcome back. Yeah, it's so welcome nice back, Cassie. Chica yeah. Hugo is back. She's back. And uh, should I add um, award-winning Chica, Chica Hugo? Yeah. You, you, yeah. you need to add yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. To add yeah. that. <laughs> so welcome you back. Can. She came on board uh, with fire mm -hmm. and um, of course um, congratulations Thank on your you. award yeah. talk to us about it how oh do you my feel? goodness first of all i am so so happy to be back i've missed you know sitting we down here with you beautiful too. ladies missed i've missed the banter i've missed the you know the jew babies excitedness <laughs> all of that i've definitely missed it it's so so good to be back and then about your award uh I got uh, awarded for being the best radio and TV presenter in Australia. Deserve around the world. You know, floor. it's such oh, an don't such look at <laughs> that on the screen. She's looking yes. so fabulous. It's such an honor, you know, because this is actually something that I absolutely love to do. This is my mm. passion, and being uh, recognized, being awarded for it, is the most beautiful and fulfilling thing ever. Mm. So, like, True. it's amazing. I'm, I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm grateful. You know, it's an amazing one. It's an amazing one. So, and yeah. And while Cassie was talking, uh, another picture also popped yeah. up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We need to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why they have to do that to you. Yes, we have wow. to. We have because award winners. We have <laughs> award winners. Uh, oh, 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 the king of so. Woo! Okay, so that's me on the screen. And, um, you know, um, last weekend, I think it was on Friday, I got my award. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday, Cassie got but hers. Mm -hmm. And I got back. for the most impactful presenter. Well and it was deserved. such a great feeling. I mean, it was such I mean, it shows a in great the picture feeling. Right there. Yes, mm -hmm. I mean, look at that. We had kingship attire. <laughs> we had kingship. Kasi came with a baby girl vibe. No, I'm a baby girl. I'm a baby girl. She right. came with the kingship attire. I uh, know all this um, recognition is just a notch for us to do better. But yeah. 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 It's true. not true. easy for you to. Um, um, you know, have a talent like I said uh, while giving my speech that day. Mm -hmm. That it's not. It's one thing for you to have talent. It's another thing for you to be recognized. Absolutely. True. You know, True. And not just you that. You do. Grooming yourself enough mm -hmm. to be recognized. Nice. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what makes a difference. And True. this is, you know, to everyone out there, mm. to teenagers, to youths looking up to do something, to doing something great. Probably you are not yet sure. Just keep at it. Do keep doing what you're doing. That talent you have. God gave you for a reason. True. And sooner or later, you will be recognized for it. True. So let's True. move over to our uh, amiable Judith Ahana. Yes, it's so good to be back. Uh, and it's so good to have Cassie. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you too. I missed you. Yes. Uh, so, uh, we, we know this, in this show, we, we support ourselves. Exactly. We, 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 we
discoursing. You get yeah. discoursing. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's I mean, <laughs> 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 did so good to back up conversation. And I was like, oh, King Gabe, I was like, you. you know what? We're having a conversation that yeah. night. And I was like, what are you doing, those people? <laughs> but when I asked, I said, okay, they have sex now. So it's good. And uh, my amazing Nenge. That yeah. one, Amazon herself. Okay. <laughs> Let, uh, yeah. So it's so good to be back. It's yeah. so good. I mean, right, it's a, it's a yeah. September to remember. Like definitely. We said, it's, it's, definitely. It's a September to remember. We are so happy. The, the whole team is so happy. Yeah. True. Because if one person wins, we all win. win. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine so, so two great. people winning on the show. On the show. Oh, that, all right. Down to one. the beautiful Nengi, Ernest, Ademola. You are looking so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Evelyn. But you know what was behind it? I don't want to tell our viewers what was behind so I, it. I, I don't even want to to talk about that. So I would just receive your compliment. Mm. Oh, heartedly. <laughs> no, but right, really, you're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. No, I am but she's not Ademola. And uh, you've come mm. to the spot summers. And of course, if you see me on the road and you hear me like that, bros, I will hear you back. You understand? And <laughs> uh, just like I would always say, it's good to be among the ladies' fold. Of course, the ladies know the story behind why I'm sitting down <laughs> because it, it's been long awaited. It's been yeah, a long yeah. time coming. And mm -hmm. finally, mm -hmm. I'm here on the show. I think uh, sometime, the last time out, I made my debut and this time around, I'm part of the full fold with full force and coming here to talk sense hmm. and also to banter. That's what makes the show interesting. As usual. All right. Amazing introduction from the ladies that will go for this um, break. When we return, it will be time to talk what's trended. And for today, you do not meet, want to miss what we have on our table. Stay with us. All right, welcome back to Ladies Talk. Um, this is what's trended, and a lot of things uh, trended on social media over the week. And um, one that really got to everybody was uh, the death of uh, Mobad. And, yeah. um, you know, it was a sad one. He was just 27. But all we can say is that um, may his soul rest in peace, and um, may God give his family the fortitude to bear the loss. Oh, I mean, yeah. he just has a five-month-old child, mm -hmm. and now is no more. The music industry is definitely going to miss this talented Afro-pop singer. He has lots, um, uh, you know, a couple of hits to his yeah. name, mm -hmm. and definitely. people on the streets will miss this guy really. Mm -hmm. Seeing him on the screen right now, I'm feeling some kind of way. I mean, when it comes to lyrical content, you can is you know, associate him with the streets. Yeah, is so. there? But we will not be focusing on more that today. Our focus will be on a lady. Yes, um, we all knew what went down last week. Uh, you know, <laughs> why you smile? It's like oh my like, god! I, 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 want, I just <laughs> wish I could just tell Julie to just introduce what's ah, trended today. Ah, oh my, you know, oh my. But, ah, that's the god boy. Ah. This particular <laughs> scene has been like a trajectory in the yeah. entertainment mm -hmm. world and mm -hmm. it's like something that is now a norm you know it's comes out and people talk we you know people talk about it and we move on like like it's not normal. like yeah it like, even adds faint to you so like <laughs> more because, more famous, more okay, more 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 quickly, I think 24 hours after our sex tape, tape, sex tape leaked, you know, our Instagram followers increased to 2 million, Jay. over 2 million. And there were talks in some quarters that this lady probably may have allegedly, you know, um, leaked the sex tape to herself. Chase out. Mm. But she has actually come out to debunk that and she said that she is going to be taking legal actions mm -hmm. <laughs> against whoever we don't know if it was the <coughs> ex that did well Julie, let me just do your <laughs> move to cassie cassie <laughs> is joke. more <laughs> in the entertainment <laughs> world and i know she's oh got my God. Um, uh. you know full gist about this particular issue 
But it's still all very sketchy because she has, of course, even if she did it on her own, she's not going to come out to say with her full chest. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's yeah. going to confess. Nobody, yeah, and we don't have concrete evidence that she did it. So we cannot actually come out to judge because what if in this in the situation, what if just what if she didn't actually mean for it to get leaked? So we're not going to really start, you know, casting judgment, throwing stones mm. or whatever. But the whole idea of doing sex tape is just something that baffles me. I don't think it's <laughs> something that as a celebrity, should even be getting yourself involved in. As a person, self, whether you are known or you are not known, because mm. it always backfires. I've not seen the advantage of having sex there before. Mm -hmm. I've not seen a case where it actually helps. It always comes has a way of just coming back to just boomerang on you and hit you, and it's just... It doesn't make sense. Okay, just before hers, there was this babe on TikTok, the booba girl, that mm. um, her, <laughs> the, her uh, video of when she was what, touching yeah. herself leaked, and I could hear a leaked voice note when she was crying, mm. and like she was depressed. It doesn't, why, why are you sending it out? Because this man cannot be trusted mm. whatsoever. This man, especially when you maybe want to leave them, or there's just something that goes, you don't know the heart of man. He yeah. might want to just, you know, paint you black in the eyes of people and say, you did it against you. Wicked. So, I don't even reason, no matter what it is, you're telling me you want to watch for later, there's porn on, they have the website. Are you know, I know, no, there's, there's, <laughs> there's your Are memory you for you to remember. You know, no. I don't like, I'm right saying now. if you even want, if you're rich, because some people will tell you the reason why they are doing so that they can watch it afterwards. They want mm. to see how it was, you know, I think it was that. part of, it was part of Moyo Lawal's statement, talking about the fact that they just wanted to keep it, you know, it was just <laughs> basically for the both of you them. You can go and watch mm. something else mm. on those websites, or use your memory. I'm sure if you sit down and close your eyes, you can always remember, picture, it. picture and imagine it's things. It's going to play I'm like a movie. Friend. To be honest, you have a brain. Exactly. Now, look at how it has hey. backfired. The same thing with Tiwa too. It backfired, though she owned her own well. I mean, oh, she thought yeah. she, she, she sang about it. Yeah. it, was, <laughs> it, it, it it's never ends well. So I just feel like it's something that ladies should actually run away from. It does, I mean, this man will try to convince you that it's mm. for good, it's for this. And yeah. even when you enter a house or a room, see, I'm always... You just very, need to yeah. just check. You need to be very You never can trust this man. I, I, I think this is what I do. Personally, if I go into um, a hotel, if I lodge into a hotel, check. the first, even if I'm not with anybody, like I lodged into a hotel, mm. the first thing I do, I turn off the lights because mm -hmm. at that time, everyone would be red dark. Yeah. So you have to check if there are any lights were still ever right there, is any reflection around, yeah. on yeah. around. You, I check everywhere. Before I settle because down. there was a case that happened so, you you some years ago tell. of someone that made a video mm. that he was in a hotel and apparently they had cameras. You can cameras. Yeah, Can you imagine? True. What do they want to use it for? Somebody come and start blackmailing all of a sudden. It makes no sense. So we have to be careful. All man. right, very quickly, let me move over to the Afro co mistress hey. herself, Judith Ahana. See. I'm just going. I know you have a lot to See. say. Uh, yes, I, I mean I'll make it short though. But wait, let me let me mm. ask from this angle. You can add every other thing you want to add later on. Mm. I mean, Cassie already. Um, established that, uh, and also cautioned ladies not yeah. to allow any man, mm. you know, to convince, convince them, them, cajole them into doing a sex, sex thing. What if this man is your husband? It's not going to happen. Forget that thing. You have, you have, you have, if, if he's your husband, you have him for the rest of your life. If you, if you can make the sex step in your head every day, the teacher like every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. If you want to be relinquishing the moment and be enjoying the moment, see, why why on earth would you make sex tape even with your husband? Somebody you are seeing naked every day. Like, it doesn't make sense. Some people may want to... Which know. moment do you want to relieve? If you want to relieve the moment, go back again and have sex with him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> That's just it. Why would you want to make sex to girl? Say, okay, make a, make my, if my husband travel, psycho, why do you want to? Somebody that you have forever, you want to be seeing video of him. For what? Mm. Why if he comes back, you follow you, hammer him back again? If will make the sex step in your mind. You see, why did God give us thoughts? Like, the, why did God give us this mind imagination. to think, to imagine? If you want, if you miss your partner so much, you imagine that they are there with you. You don't need to make it sexy. I would, I would have sex video call, but sometimes they actually no, record. Yeah. That, that one is that video call. Exactly. Exactly. So, exactly. I feel whether your husband, your partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, see, for your own safety, mm. because we don't know what will happen in this world. And for the public sanity and also, the, please. Uh, public like that, you know, mm. you don't see how many people video. For the public sanity, see, please, for, also. Ah, for your own safety, don't even try it. Because we don't know what this life can turn out to be. Something mm. can happen. Your best friend can your, be your worst so, somebody, enemy. Okay, someone, exactly. your husband yeah. might not even be thinking of uploading your sex tape, but someone can take his phone. What if his phone goes missing? Goes missing. You know, I think that's what happened with the Oxlade issue. Mm. Yeah. They said you it know, wasn't really from mm. him. Someone recorded someone, it from Someone can phone. just take your wow. phone and just, you get someone that hates you because no one hates you in this life. So, I don't think it's, 
Say, idea, but yeah. I, I don't think it's ideal. If it's your husband, why would you even want to? I don't even know. I don't even go for your husband. Someone that you see naked every day. You now want to make sex take. But you, you, even, you thought of his nakedness is supposed to be registered in your head every day. Okay. Because you're seeing him naked. All right, very quickly. I mean, we about mm. Tinengi. You talk yeah. about public ha. sanity. Yeah. How can we be able, how can we actually um, sanitize um, the public? Sanitize and sensitize mm. the public on stuff like this? Because when you see things like this and someone says oh someone's um sex tape has leaked the, you see people the comment section please share please, please share please uh, share yeah. you have the video yes. <laughs> don't like the way evelyn said we share this afternoon <laughs> <laughs> evelyn said please share. you know no, you know i was just joking about that because, but then you know that was people, light want to, people will I, I wonder what you want to see like, what do you want to see? Mm. Everybody wants to have that on their phone. And really, that is actually um, uh, a, a, a breach of privacy yeah. and it's criminal. Like she stated in our, uh, you know, in our statement. Mm. Mm. And you, you know, Evelyn, uh, last time out with the ladies, of course, we talked about online fraud stars. Mm -hmm. And I did make mention of the fact that the internet is easily accessible to everywhere, anywhere, anybody can use the internet. And yeah. I did, I, I also stated the fact that uh, people now take advantage of the vulnerability of the internet. And I also talked about mor uh, moral decadence can, when it comes to our society. So yeah. let me just use that to re re relate to this particular issue uh, without uh, much ado. Uh, you ladies would also agree with me that uh, in recent times, Nigerians, we've had to endure, enjoy, and confront series of, you know, nude pictures leaking, pornography, mm -hmm. sex tapes sh sharing all over the internet. I said enjoy and enjoy because just like you guys said that some people enjoy it. I, I mean, do do fact, as a matter of fact, you know, I made mention of the fact that some people use it to even chase cloud and all of yes. that. Meanwhile, some people just enjoy it because I don't it, want it's not to ideal. See your, yeah, I don't want to see your it's not just ideal. ideal. All over the place. And um, at the end of the day, meanwhile, these people's, uh, the, the morality, the integrity of these victims, mm. and of course the people that share these videos, will now turn to a subject of debate, just like we're trying to talk yeah, about doing it, it now. It's now turning to what's trended and all of that. So, the thing is, what is the motive, just like Cassia said? I mean, I want to understand, what is the motive of making this behind thing? recording yourself when you want to be slege? That is the thing. <laughs> I, I Behind love that recording word. yourself when you want to wipe it. When you want to hang <laughs> leg You oh understand? So I, I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe, you know, some people would say it's just for fun of the Most moment. Beautiful. And that is where your brain comes in. You can actually it. sit, imagine, and you would see something play in front of you, you just get, like Or you can actually do it in front of a mirror. So you are seeing you, yourself. It, it's like, just, uh, just that's what, it's you as know, simple as that. You know that's why some people put mirror <laughs> up, 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 up yeah. their yeah. And like, again, Evelyn, and again, ladies, um, she talked about taking uh, legal action to this. And if she wants to take a legal action pertaining this particular one, then I believe that there is a law in Nigeria under prevention and prohibition, or prohibition rather, there prohibition, law, yeah. that states that if you are, I mean, that says that this particular act that no. shows that it involves showing nudes, pornography, and sex tape leaking all over the internet, I mean, it is very punishable under the, the law. law. Mm -hmm. There should be a case, there, there should be a law that states so in Nigeria. And if I told that is that kind of law, that means it's just there for their sake. Like, me, you know, because because I, don't I, get I think like the problem but is I feel trying like it's to not find out who, who leaked it. it. But That's then, where I it comes think, in. Uh, in. I think it was a write up I read, if I'm not mistaken, right here. She was able to identify the person who See, leaked it. That is why okay. she wants to go okay. ahead okay. to take on legal action. So if there is a law like that, which means that it's not working, because it makes it difficult at the end of the day that uh, you're trying to train your child. Mm. Meanwhile, the society is just waiting to embrace your child and give them every material that they need to go wayward. Mm. It makes it very difficult. And one thing we need to realize is the fact that we Africans, we hold morality and decency in a very, very high, high esteem. Mm -hmm. yeah. to, be, to be honest, that's why, I talk, that's why I talked about public sanity. That's why I talked about the fact that we need to be very cautious about all of these things. Because at the end of the day, I do not see any reason why you would want to have a sex tape. Because any, no relationship any relationship that enters, any relationship that enters X, Honestly, My dear, see both sex it can both nudes. Yeah. Both to, be, to be honest, because it can leak. Do Any, not anything that has X. But you, the the worst part is that you see most of us, most men doing this, they send me your nudes. Like, Somebody called like, on radio when we're having the stock, I think sometime last week, and he was trying to advise the ladies that, see, 
No matter what, do not do Say, that. Because yes, you will you. be the one who will get the brand. Do be honest. Because okay, so now, now, now yeah. you are making this uh, man an odogu. Uh, no. No, no, he's actually not even because he didn't really, you know. Classic, calm down. <laughs> you know, they are making this man an odogu, but now everybody is killing him. Nobody is calling you. Nobody is calling you. Nobody is calling you. Nobody is calling you. This man's sex tape is out. Yes, people are, are actually so about to measure his prowess. Oh, did he do well? Did he not do well? Can you just imagine? They say, oh, Oxlade did well. But this one is not doing well. Waste, waste but for the effort. ladies, it's actually why would you why would you do, do, why would you yeah. do you get it? Like, so why that's would to you? let you ladies out there know that. See, we are yes, we are the one preaching equality. You are and receiving all that. So mm. whether we like it or mm -hmm. not, there will always be double standards when uh, it comes to stuff yes, like this. That's just the it. ladies will always be the one to lose the front yeah. when push comes to shove. All right, and um, 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 Nengi talked about uh, it being a criminal act and all of that. It's not mm. just only for the person that leaked. It's also for anyone the who shares. Yeah. 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 Hmm. The liquor, the share. So, yeah, it's the one like that. <laughs> so, I so, said, I, so, I said, 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 what we are doing okay we are back on the show and um if you're just joining us i wonder where you have been but you know what they say better late than never thank you so much for joining us um on ladies stock and um, we are just on the final lap and at this particular on this particular segment we have a topic we want to discuss i have the ladies nengi ernest ademola is here Judith Ahana is here, and of course, the beautiful and delectable Chikasi Ogo. Um, still over the weekend, we had, week rather, we had a video um, pop up, an interview with the funny comedian. Well, a comedian should be funny anyways. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> with the comedian, um, Kiki, uh, where she had an interview with um, Tokes, Token Makinwa. Uh, just let us, you know, listen to what she said before we come back um, and talk about the topic we have today on this course. All right, let's watch this particular video and we will be back. Me, for one, I tell women this. How, how will you be living the house and you're not paying rent? To me, oh, mm. it does not make sense. Mm. See, let I'm living in this house. We are sharing the rent. On my birthday, fly me to Dubai. Fly me to Barcelona for my birthday. That's beautiful. Buy me um, 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 a family bag. Buy me a Christian, a Christian Louboutin, whatever. Beautiful. Mm. But that I'll be living in that house and not pay rent, it is not possible. So that one wants to fight, you carry the chair, carry television, you carry the roof, I carry the floor. We'll see everything you call it for. You can't tell me get out of my house. No, that's not to be an adult. You can't tell me get out yeah. of my house. And there's mm. no, there's nothing like get out of my house. Mm. We are living together. Mm. And you know, so the concept, because living together is like cohabitating, isn't it? it, it, it and you it, have yeah. to be responsible. Imagine taking in a friend and then you have a chef, you have a cleaner, you have um, a dry cleaner, mm. and then your friend is just waking up in the morning, you know, eating, throwing their plates and their clothes everywhere in the house, and they are, you are cleaning after them. You are paying for everything. It's no matter how much you love your friend, in time will come. Yeah. If, if, if I even. Chikasi, sense or nonsense? Ah, nonsense, I'd say. Complete you, you, nonsense. Okay, defend, nah. defend your answer. Nah. <laughs> defend See, your answer. As an emo girl, it's nonsense. It as no, for real. But we have it, to it, do it, with culture. I'm just telling you from my own angle. Okay. She asked me. As so an emo girl, it's nonsense. Answer. Because if she was saying, like, normally, we're supposed to be helpers. We're supposed to be, you know, support your, your blah, blah, blah. Mm. Now, if you're in a case of uh, you're having financial crisis, I could always come in. Definitely. I'll be so proud and happy as your wife to step in mm. and help you. If it's that, okay, it's time for rent. Rent is due. You do not have the money. Definitely, mm. as your helpmate, I will proudly give you the money and but say, babe. You back. No, he doesn't even need to. I'll probably give, because she does not have at that moment. I'll probably give it to, except it says I should borrow him. I might even decide, don't worry, don't pay back. I'll probably give it to you and say, babe, pay this, okay? This is my support in the marriage. But that you're not going through anything financially, you are very capable, you're an odogo, and you're not expecting me to just share the rent 50-50. It makes no sense. I feel like, 
I, the kind of men that would make you feel, I don't know, it's, it's probably coming from a place of trauma because, you know, I was saying in the group chat that this, this lady, this actress, Gab Union, she made a comment like this where she yeah. said she has to mm. share the bills with her husband. Every single bill, 50-50. And the reason why she got triggered into doing that was because one day they were having a conversation and he I said, said my house. My house. Mm. Now that triggered her and said, I don't want you to ever say this is your house again. So therefore, every bill will be 50-50. That's... That's a sad, that's a sad, I'm sorry, sad. sorry but it's sad. You hear guys you saying to that Nigeria, the man this has, is my house, get out of my house, I'm so. bringing you into it my house. Be, it shouldn't be so, men should not be making such statements to their wife. Why? It shouldn't be so. It pays the rent, it builds their house. We don't come and say, this is, okay, I give birth to the children, yes. right? We don't come and say, no, this, this, is, not, my this is my child. They are don't, seeds it's now, who planted the seed into you? Did you impregnate yourself? It's not right, because I'm your responsibility, okay? I'm your wife. The way God created it is that you're supposed to take care of me. Mm, but that's, that's how it that's should be. be. We all know. That's mm. how it should be. So you're not going to say it's my house. Now, that doesn't make any sense. Now, I feel like this is coming from a place of trauma. Now, when Gabi Union did that, it's because she was traumatized by what he said and she felt intimidated. And I, I go was bruised and she was like, you know, you're never going to make me to me again. Now, the same thing with Kiki. Now, probably he has told her something in the past that made her feel that way. And she said, hey, you know what? I'm going to be sharing um, the house rent with you because why would you be thinking that the only reason why I want to do this is because one day you will say, get out of my house. Like, like it just makes no sense what to me. Of you there's like always, there's the always, time. there's always a time and place for you to come in, even mm. if it's you know financially grounded. You can yeah. see as a wife help out though. Without you even asking, just say, okay, you know what, babe, I clear this, I clear that. That's perfect. That's that's beautiful. But you just saying on your own that as a mm. wife and we're cohabiting or this or that, and giving the instance of friends. Then what you can't compare somebody being your friend to somebody being your husband. It is one hundred percent not even correlated. It's not the same thing at all. It doesn't make any sense to me for my husband to be splitting the bill and for him to tell me. That we have to split the rent. Like, nah, I could help her in other ways. Even when it's like, you know, well to do, I could come in and say, okay, you know what? I'm going to take care of this bill. That's fine. But splitting the rent is complete nonsense to me. All right. Um, moving over to Nengi Ernest uh, Demola at this time. Do you think that statement is coming from a place of, I want to be a responsible adult? Mm. You know, uh, uh, sometimes, uh, the truth is, sometimes I, 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 I just sit and I think about the fact that uh, my gender, sometimes we all feel. Uh, insecurities and fear and when we feel that way we, we 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 tend to be very proactive about some things just to avoid what we are afraid yeah. of mm. now uh, aside from that if a man pays for the rent he has the right to tell you get out if you believe that the sole responsibility but of a wait, man wait, wait. he has a right to tell you get out yes Even if you believe that the sole responsibility of a man mm. is to pay the rent that like this is your work till death do us part pay the rent then that means he, he, he also reserves the right to tell you leave my house mm. because he pays the rent yeah he puts the bill mm. he builds a, or, okay in, in 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 an instance where maybe he was the one that built it he built the house it is his house From every, it is his house he married you into his house sometimes the remotes TV, speaker, you don't even know how much. All those things, it was his own before you came into the house. Mm. Now, we also want to talk about, you know, most of these single girls that say, oh, uh, uh, that is the sole responsibility of a man to check their life. Some of them, I, I, I won't even want to say some of them because it's very rampant nowadays that these single ladies who claim uh, independence, we're independent and we work and all of that, check their lives very well. There is a man who sponsors some of their lavish lifestyle and, of course, Gives them money to pay their rent, whether directly or not indirectly. Not all of them. I want you no, to not generalize. No, that's what I'm no, no, some, some, some. Yeah, that's what some. I, that's why I said some. But yeah. the truth is, it's becoming very rampant these days. That's what I said. But some of them check them very well. They have those men that sponsor their lifestyle. At the end of the day, directly or indirectly, and some of them would date. You would hear somebody, a boyfriend, would call her and uh, she would be like, she would be sounding down, and the guy would ask, "What's wrong?" She would be like, "Um, you know, I've been wondering where I would see money to um pay my, pay rent. my rent and all of that so because of love. The man will pay." You see an entire time marriage, you say, uh, the remote, you know, buy nothing you buy. You come into the house and you want, oh, you, you feel like it's a sole responsibility. I'm not sure it is written anywhere, not even under the constitution that governs marriage, that a man has the sole responsibility to pay light bill, to uh, pay school fees, or to pay the rent. Mm. I personally do not believe in sharing of bills, though, because I feel like, you know, where you have well, these kind of things. Okay, Nengi, I would, think I'm not getting yeah, you. No, 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 listen, 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 listen. Okay. Okay, this is my point, yeah. I'm, I'm making myself very clear, as clear as possible. Do you possible. agree with her? I am not in support of sharing a bill. Sharing you do not bills. see. A woman can wake up and decide to pay the rent. There is not going to be stress, no problem. Everybody will keep moving. Life will keep going on. 
she can wake up one morning and decide to pay the rent. Mm. The man can also wake up and decide that, okay, fine, I can clear the light bill. Anyone goes. I do not believe in a 50 50 person. But then, take a you, I do not believe in one person should, so, like, it's a sole responsibility of one, one person, person to be doing so this. Thing. No. Both can actually do the Both thing. can actually do it without stress. You can wake up and decide to pay the house rent. Like I was saying, it's not written anywhere that it is solely for the man. Just like she was actually saying, in fact, this thing is even from Time Immemorial, where she actually talked about the fact that, oh, you give birth to the kids. We understand the fact that it is written that the man is a provider. Mm. We get it. Exactly. But it is not written that, okay, because he's a provider, this is what he's going to do till he dies. Like, so I'm not, I'm not in support of, you know, sharing bills and all of that. And sometimes I feel like those matana for people where they say maybe they just they manage their life and you want to be sharing this. How because do you, can I ask you, um, you can just wake up and you Nengi, just, how do you you just define, want to do it. How do you define taking care of your family? What's your definition of that? Because even the Bible says a man who cannot take care of his family. Who cannot take no, for a man to get married so to you. So for a man to get married to you means that he's capable. Means that he's capable of taking care of the family. Because you're capable. saying it's not stated for him to, but he's supposed mm. to. A man. We're not saying he's that he's supposed to. That man is definitely in the house capable of taking care of everybody. He actually has no whatsoever to take care of my house, whether I paid for it or not. Whether I paid for it or not. you guys go out and you go to court, you can actually take the house, take half of what he has. See, that's according to me. See, listen, so even for child, like even for child, for even for children, for yeah, court, child maybe, maybe uh, child support and all of that, it is when you get to that stage, you go and they will start making the laws and start that breaking it down. That is to tell you to that tell he has no you right take, to you say, take get one. out of my you house, take this simply because he's paying the rent. No, so even the listen, court is telling listen, you that Cassie, it is to your house. If you can actually feel that a man has the sole responsibility of paying the rent, that means he has the right to you. He has the right to tell you, get out. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. Use it over you. That's you have to change your own mindset. No, not at all. Ladies, not at all. You know, be the mindset. Don't let me see your mindset. Wait, no, no, no. I'm coming to you. I know it can be a bit controversial. Now, what Nengi is saying right here now is, see. I don't think um, sharing of bills is should it's be something. It's, it's not deal. a big deal. Anybody it's should wake up one morning and say, I want to pay for the light bill. That's, I want to pay for the true, house. True, I want to pay for true, the rent. True, Do you understand? True. But now saying, oh, let's share the bills. Or, oh, I think my husband should be the one, the sole yes, provider like, of the house. Yes. She doesn't believe in that. that is, um, there's some kind of disadvantage. That is when you now, see a woman, Evelyn. You come to the house to knock and say, we are Nepal, we need leopard bitch. She will tell you my husband is not around. No, that one is That one is No, no, no. Different. So that, that's that what I'm saying. Do you are saying bills. I'm focusing on rent, which now, is what she's saying. Yeah, what you're, you're rent. going to bills. House rent. And I'm saying rent. rent. That house rent. That house rent. Anybody can pay it. Anybody. Judith, let me run over to you. It doesn't have to be so responsible. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. if, if, if a man pays for the house rent or builds his house, house. and he gets married to you, do you understand? He gets married to you and you are not, um, you know, you do not... You do not bring up that initiative to say, okay, let me be probably pay for half of the rent or let me pay for um, some other things in the house. Mm -hmm. Do you think you have the right to lay claim to that house? Yes. As the Bible says, fruit by two boom. shall become one. <laughs> Meaning that when the two is becoming one, everything that belongs to that other person it belongs to you. Anything that belongs to the woman belongs to the man. Mm -hmm. Everything. You know, even that money. So how about that's the why, court of law? How about the way, woman in the court of law that's that why states a, that a, a princess, mm. let's say a peasant, can marry a king, mm. and before you know it, everything owns to that owns that king owns goes on to the respect they they transfer it back to that a, that peasant. We watch movies where you see someone goes to bring a girl that is nothing. Mm -hmm. But immediately she assumes the position of a queen. A social standard. A social standard, up. right? Mm -hmm. You cannot tell me that uh, because she's a peasant before, that because she's not a queen. Because by, by, by the state of marriage already, she has become a queen to that whole nation. So mm -hmm. me, I don't believe that. If it, see, based on this certain issue, this certain issue, mm -hmm. I cannot, I will help if I want to help you. Mm -hmm. But I feel the man, God has made him the provider, provider the, the head. head. He oh. should do that. If he says, baby, I don't, I don't have enough. Which home. means that we're the one that tied certain See, responsibilities to this man. If he says, baby, I don't. No, we no, didn't. That's we didn't. No, we didn't. That's how we did. You didn't. That's how we did. That's how we did. We did. That's how 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 we did.
that the woman would have to go through pains, you know, before she delivers. And, and I'm sure Eve, wait, now, wait, now, you wait, wait, now. Now. And I'm sure that. Eve now said, okay, <laughs> since God said that uh, you should be telling the girl, okay, this is what you'll be doing. She now added more responsibilities. Like, okay, since I'm sure telling the girl, you, that you go and sell, so. you go and bring food, see. you go yes. and make it look just <laughs> true. Make it look like you're not that tight set of responsibilities. And because they do not want to solve their ego, they do it. I don't think we don't feel like we have this setting right. No, men automatically have this sense of ownership. Mm -hmm. Have this sense of, okay, if I'm going to do something for this time, I don't get mad. We're talking about the and ego. And it's not us that did that to them. They did it themselves. If, as a it's man, their said, nature, as, as a man, man if, if he has, men, most not men, we're not saying it's not happening. Men. We're not saying it's responsibility. Men, most men, men and you want that men. have wives. I've said it. Most I, men that have wives that pay the bills, they feel less of themselves. Mm. Yes. They prefer to be the they ones feel to pay the Listen, that's what I said. I said because they do not want their ego to be fought. Now, they so it's not so you're saying it's not us that gave the responsibility. Ego is. Because it's not us that brought this ego. Let me just ask you this question. What about building of house? Building of house. Should it be the sole responsibility of the man to build it, the house or hatch. you know us combining but resources see, together to build if the house. If we want to build the house and I know I have the financial capacity to join you. I'll join Why you. would you have the financial capacity? I'll Why do you want you. to tie everything to his neck? No. Why won't you? No. Man, you a see, man does not see, marry a liability. No of course but if you don't have the men you have there are to. men that have you have to be prepared. You have to. And even if I buy you one block, get capacity. See, if I buy one block for that house, you can't carry on the next I month. Now you build that. I will not build the house. You, you see what thing I do? See, they go and see. Buy the virtue of marriage. marriage. By the virtue of marriage, mm. I stand on that rule. They say two shall become one. So anything you owe, it belongs to me. Anything I owe, but there's still a lot of you. When it comes to marriage, when it comes to um, things men owe, ladies lay claim to it. Yes. But when it comes to things women owe, now like me, they always they'll tell you it's me. Now like you, they always tell you it's me. You know the balance of that. You know the balance of that. You know the balance of that. I always tell you that anything that belongs to me belongs. I've said it on this show. That statement, that statement is just you know light talk. It's not something that goes deep. I could always say, oh, my husband's money is my money, and my money is my money. But trust me, if my husband is ever in time of need, I would one hundred percent pull through for him. Why do you want to wait for him to be in need? No, you don't need fair. That I could decide you don't have to wait for your own needs. You don't have to wait for your own needs. You don't have to wait for your own needs. Did you hear my own points? I said I could actually put other bills. I don't need him to ask, but I'm saying rent. I'm talking about rent specifically. I just don't see it. I'm talking about rent too. I don't see it. I'm talking about rent too. It's not my responsibility. He is the provider of the home. So the rent rent, he is the one that puts the roof over our head. He's the head of the house. It's not my responsibility. Now I see. See, when we leave our fathers, what? When we leave our father's house and go to our husband, we automatically have it is because you are supposed to go there and build. You can build in other ways. 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 You can Contribute house, do you pay half up with your husband? No, I'm not going to Does do it that. make you a liability? It's no, no, because you have to do other ways. Up. That's what I'm no, saying. Listen, listen. I can't take over the food. The truth is, doing the food. You're not talking about the house right Me, now. You're talking about the house right now. You are saying with somebody, uh, with somebody in the same house. It's what not somebody, it's my husband. Yes, it's your husband. That's the more reason why you don't want to do it for him. I just feel this is coming from for him. It's not 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 for him. Women, but not like, yeah. Let me stop women, we have, we have yeah. limited time. We are coming yeah. from it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. This is yeah. a trauma. What report. if you chose me at one day because they are not paying rent? No, no. Let's that's not the angle. Down. It's just if, responsibility. If you're saying it's out of fear, it's just I think out of that show, that responsibility. To be fair, right? Um, because I like to take us back to things we have said. Our, our, our thoughts, our opinions, our yeah. views on different topics on this particular show. On this show, there are times <laughs> where we had we have you know advised women to you know have a property. Mm -hmm. Do yes. this and do that. Mm -hmm. Have job. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't kiss. Definitely. Later Definitely. on, he says, "I'm no longer interested." You move out to your own house. Then like that. You know you have mm. something tied to your name that you can move on to. Is it not? Don't you think it's still? It's still no. in, in the same regard. No. regard. No. Like you wait, no. wait. Calm down. It please. Isn't. You cannot tell me to move out of this house because we both contributed. See, to even me, I will not move back. Oh, even me, I will not move back. Look at it. I'm not going to be there. When, 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 when
have issues. It's actually the man that moves out. That moves even, out. even when he's the one that pays. It, <laughs> that pays even. See, okay, you can't even tell Look at Mel and Yo now. Two of them actually built that house, right? Who has moved out? Yo. yo. And the man so what are we saying here? Yeah. White house. It's the woman that has the house. Whether she's the one that pays. Why did you say the woman is the own builder? She's the one that owns the house. So you don't buy the house. Why do you guys have issues? He will still be the one to leave. You are your own builder. If you guys have issues, you will be the one to go and sleep on the couch. All right, not paying anything. You are defending yourself on builder. You are defending other things. You are other things to pay. I have built the picking on your house. I have built the picking on your house. I have built the picking on your house. That's why I said we are the ones that have taken responsibility as the man. together please we won't hear ourselves sure. and we want our audience mm. to be able to understand what we are saying so it would not be nice if we are talking at the same i know it's very controversial i know we are very passionate about this particular topic yes. but we have to understand that we have all our different opinions yeah. and all sure. our opinions are valid whether right, like yes, it or not 100%. now cassie do you think what um kiki said is trying to strip off the masculinity of a man because, you know, a lot of men right now um, have this um, feeling that they are mm. not enough, they are insufficient, because a lot of women have become so independent that they cannot be masculine around them. When a man, when you come into a house and, you know, you just get married and the husband feels, I should be the one paying rent, and you come to him and say, no, you can't be paying rent alone, I'll split the bill with you. And the husband is like, why? I want to do this. This is, like, this is my house, I'm in charge. So I want to be in charge of this house as the man of the house. And the woman saying, no, I'm married to you now, so let's split the bill 50-50. Do you think this in any way will strip men of their masculinity, of, of their ego? Like I feel it? like it depends on the individual man himself. So mm. men might be cool with it. Kiki's husband probably is cool, cool with, with it. it. It's, prob it's, it's possible that he made that request or he did not, but when it was offered to him, he accepted it wholeheartedly. Mm. Mm. But it depends on the man. Some men feel like, no, like, let, let me just, but now we're saying as an Igbo girl. See, in Igbo land, they take that masculinity thing very seriously. They take you being responsible as an Igbo man very seriously. In fact, in an Igbo land, they will tell you the wife is the oracle. She's there to come and enjoy the world. Mm. She's there to come and enjoy everything you've God got. God created what women for, for real, that's, that's how we see it in Igbo land. So <laughs> if as an Igbo man, you're not doing, you're not, you're like, no, you're not man enough. And that's just it. So if the man says, okay, fine, I am cool with you doing this, it's cool. But what I know is that a good percentage of men will not be cool with it. All right, let me go back to Judith. Uh, Judith, now, yeah. I just want you to, you know, wrap up your su the summary of this whole topic, your last take. What do you feel? Do you think it's something that we should promote? A lot of women, a lot of men have, you know, over time said, oh, I can't get married to a liability. I don't want a woman that will, I will be the one to do everything. I want a woman that will be able to support me, support me. And if women come up and say, okay, I want to support you to pay the rent, and you're saying, no, don't support me in paying the rent because this is my house and I want to pay the rent alone. Is it not men contradicting themselves? No. I feel, I feel, see, I feel we ladies, we are meant to help. And I, I, I sold, it's just as if someone wants to drink water now. But when you talk about help, you talk about maybe I want to drink water and I, or I want to give my husband water. Help is like, take this cup. He will stretch his hand and take it. Mm. So we are meant to help, not... If a man wants to pay the bills, he wants to pay the rent, fine. And I think it's even based on even both couple, both the man and the woman. If they are, but I feel 80% of men always want to pay their rent. Not because they want to make you look less in the home, but because they feel it's their duty and their responsibility to, to do that. So why strip them of it? Out of a woman that is already used to paying her rent, and then she they gets have married. to come together. She we've always talked about. To pay, we've always talked. Rent. We've always talked on this show that there's a room for communication. Mm. So if you feel you come, tell him, baby, I feel I I should join you 
in paying the rent. And if it's cool with it, fine, you guys run with it. If that, it what works for you works and for you. And if it isn't, don't force if it down, it's true. If it isn't, it's don't, you don't, don't force it down. Find you can, there's, a, there's do. a way, there's, see, you can either foot the, the, the children's school fees, yeah. you can either foot the, the feeding, I don't, me, I don't believe in it actually bringing this to, me, I can see some things that I've uh, maybe finished it there. Mm -hmm. I would. I mean, Kiki also said that that she's mm. not one to, you know, I want to buy, stop the house. I say, yeah, oh, I want to buy yeah. matching. And so she said, well, I just yeah. feel, just to give them that sense of responsibility. Like, because once you once you start joining, men can relax. So I know men that can relax. But we don't relax mm. after all. If maybe, if, even if they have the money to pay the next rent, they we don't ask because, it, because it should they pay, we should maybe in. she go pay the full rent. Uh -huh. Men knows how to relax. And we are there to help. Help them grow. All That's right. just it. Judy, uh, um, thank you so much for your thoughts there. Uh, Nangi, you mm. seem to be the only one on the... On my side. No, 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 and so, so. <laughs> you, you, you are like an advocate <laughs> for the men on this show. Mm. So, your last take. Uh, the truth is, uh, just like I stated earlier on, um, I think at this point in time, definitely, I... Uh, Forget about the banters, forget about everything. You do what works for you in your home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I would always say, there is no handbook that they will write and say, Marriage okay, this truth. is how it is supposed to be. Sure. Do what works for you in your home. I said it bef this before when we were talking about a particular story that was on the last time out. Uh, there is always room for communication. There needs to be understanding between the two partners. partners. Mm -hmm. But again, no, again, if you know, say, you know, I'm paying rent, you better hold your transport so that when they pursue you, you carry transport to go back from where, <laughs> to where you come from. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, and, I, and I like uh, what she actually ended with, you know, do what works for you for your uh, own house, for your mm -hmm. own union. A lot of people are bashing Kiki, saying she's trying to be too independent Manly. and all of that. Yeah. But that is what works for her in sure. our home. And it's working is good well. With it. it's and working there well. are some... Oh, um, the, like for for instance, while growing up for my own house, my dad paid the rent, my dad paid our school fees, my dad paid um, bought our books and all of that. But my mom was in charge of you know feeding, feeding. and also buying our clothes. clothes. When it's Christmas, we know that it is mom that will buy our clothes. Now I don't know whether my dad gives our money, or but, but I know that just the, the money comes from our purse. Yeah. Yeah. Our money, she now, at the it, end no? of the day, when what happened to my dad happened that you know he, he suffered stroke before he died. It changed. My dad, my mom now became the the father provider of, the, uh, of, of the home. Everything. You see, so just you can switch. So what? Just do what works True. for you in your house and True. learn to communicate at all times. We and that's the size of the show for today. Thank you so much for being a part of our world. We'll make a return uh, next time on this particular same channel. And on Ladies Talk from the ladies, Nengi, Judith, and of course, Chika Siobo. My name is Evelyn Ohiola. Have yourself a beautiful evening. Bye-bye.